this one actually came in the mail. It is the M4 slip-on. Post office actually delivered this. Uh, this is actually the new M4 slip-on carbon fiber for the 2016 Yamaha FZ09. Let's go ahead and get this set up. And I've heard a lot of reviews in regards to people actually getting this and it's packaged very, very well. And there's actually another box within a box. Let's go ahead and see if we can open this up here. Blade here to cut this open. Open the outside box, open the inside box, and there is more packaging in here. Wow. So they were not kidding. Obviously you don't want that nice carbon fiber exhaust to get damaged in the shipping process. But here it is. And this is actually the pipe right here. And we're just going to go ahead and see if we can use a box cutter to see if we can get everything removed here. Let me show you guys. There's plenty of layers of bubble wrap actually. And I actually do see some cardboard or something else that's actually also protecting the, uh, the slip on here. I don't want to use my box cutter uh, too close. I can see the pipe. So I know that I can actually at least cut uh, a little bit deeper. Um, actually, when I open the box, there is no instructions uh, that came with it. Alrighty, so that is where it's going to attach to the headers right there. Once you remove the catalytic converter, is that you can actually save uh, just like almost under 10 pounds, to be honest with you. Oh, actually, you know what? There are actually instructions for this. My bad on that. That's where the O2 sensor is going to be as well. And I heard that uh, it's actually uh, going to be repositioned differently compared to the stock one. Uh, warning disclaimer carbon fiber silencer sleeves blah 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 uh, blah 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 okay, whatever. Anyway. apologize I'm using one hand here okay so that is the M4 slip on right there In order to get this whole process started, we gotta remove the headers. So what we're gonna to need to do is, we're going to need to use a number 12 metric, and we're gonna to need to be removing these nuts. I'm not sure if you guys can take a look at it, but there's one right over there, and there's another one right over here, and I believe there's only two for each header, so there's six total. And then uh, we're going to remove the bolt, which is also number 12. This bolt here, which actually holds the exhaust in place. Okay, so for the O2 sensor, and uh, it was on there so tight that I actually had to use a hammer uh, to kind of push it out a little bit. So I was able to give it a couple of taps here, gentle taps. So now that I got the O2 sensor off, I got the headers uh, pretty much all good to go and also the rear uh, bolt that's actually holding the exhaust on, um, I actually have those all loosened up. So basically the only last thing that I got to do is gently remove the exhaust completely off from the bike. And also I just want to mention that in the directions it actually said to use a grinder to basically cut exactly right in the center where the weld is. Already got my four metal cutoff grinder wheels and uh, got my four inch uh, mini grinder. Alrighty, so we have the mini grinder here. We're gonna go ahead and put on the, the wheel. 
You want to make sure you get the right one. It is the metal cutoff wheel. Okay, so now for the catalytic converter. Uh, this thing is a beast. I want to say it's going to weigh at least, I don't know, like 10, 15 pounds. Let's see if we can get this on. Wow, it's almost 15 pounds. All yeah. right, so now we're going to go ahead and clean up the headers. As you can see, some of the welds there. Sorry for the lighting, but you can see some of the welding there is still there. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up so we can actually attach it to the M4 slip on. So it took, uh, I want to say maybe like about 45 minutes to less than an hour, but I went through three cut wheels and uh, yeah, it took uh, quite a while because it was my first time actually using a grinder, but I was able to actually attach it on. They actually supply you with their own uh, nut here for the slip-on, so let's go ahead and use that. All right, looks like it's uh, tightened up pretty good. That is definitely not going anywhere. Now let's go ahead and tighten up the slip-on to the header, and then we're pretty much all good to go from there. I'm just gonna hand tighten it. Don't need to go too crazy. Alrighty, so there you have it. M4 carbon fiber slip-on for the 2016 Yamaha FZ09. What we're going to do is we're going to take it outside and compare it with the stock exhaust sound and with the new M4 slip-on. 2016 Yamaha FZ09 stock exhaust sound, iPhone 6 Plus audio. Yamaha FC09 with M4 carbon fiber aftermarket slip-on cold start <laughs> 